before we can create any NFTs, we have to create a collection. First, go to your creator panel. Now when you click this link right here to your creator panel, it's going to automatically take you to creator collections. Um, if you're ever in your creator panel and you're not on this creator collections page but want to find it, you can find that by dropping the drop down for creator tools and clicking manage NFTs and that'll take you here to your collections. All right, when we start a collection, what you're going to need is a name, a collection description, and finally an image uh, to help people find your page and to spice it up a little. As you can see, as an artist, you get to crop that and you get to decide exactly uh, what part of whatever image you've chosen shows up. So crop that. And after that, you can either save it as a draft. What this means is you can go back and edit it or you can publish a collection. And once you've published a collection, you can no longer edit it. So make sure that if you're publishing a collection, it looks exactly how you want it to look. Now, publishing the collection means that it's actually going on our blockchain. So you're going to have to wait a few minutes. Sometimes this can even take 10 minutes at this time. So sit back and relax, go get a cup of coffee, work on a couple of beats, just whatever you want to do. And we'll be back once this is completely deployed to our blockchain. Okay, so once your collection is minted, we can go ahead and add NFTs. So all you're going to do is once you're inside your collection, click new NFT. Now, if you haven't already looked at our NFTs, uh, you're going to need an NFT title, um, an optional description, a featured image, which is the image that's going to be used in thumbnails all around the website, an optional external link if you want there to be a link to another website or page or anything like that, and then the file that you're actually uploading to the NFT. Um, you're also going to have to decide and show us what media type you have. Um, so the media types that you can have right now are images, which is what you would use if you're uploading a JPEG, a PNG, or a GIF, or GIF. Audio, if you're uploading an MP3, WAV, OGG, anything like that. And then finally, animation, which is for MP4s. And finally, you're also going to need to mark it as explicit or sensitive content. Um, and then also, if you have unlockable content, you're going to mark that here. Um, and you would add that description or that URL, that passcode, whatever is used to unlock that content. Once more, once you're finished, you can either save the NFT as a draft. That way you can come back and make edits. So if there's anything that you want to double check on, anything like that, save it as a draft. Or if everything is the way that you want it and you're ready for it to go on the blockchain, you can click publish NFT. Just remember that once it's published, it can't be edited. All right, and as you can see, it's being submitted now, and you can see it right here. Now this part of getting your NFT ready for sales can be a little confusing to some people. Here, you're gonna enter the price that you wanna set for the NFT. So let's say that you wanna set it for 0.005 Ethereum. Clicking this button is going to set the price. Now what this does is save the price, but it doesn't actually launch the sale. That way, if you have another date that you want to drop everything on, um, you can go ahead and save that price so that it's ready to go um, without launching the sale. Now, in this case, uh, we're not waiting to put this in a drop. We don't want to wait for a later launch date. So we're just going to go ahead and once we've set that price, click launch. Now, again, it can take a minute or two for that to be updated completely to the blockchain. Um, and then be updated on our website. As you can see here though, it's telling us you just need to wait a little while, uh, but you can go ahead and check your results. Um, so again, if you wanna walk away before seeing the final version of what it'll look like on the website, go ahead. All right, and we're done. This is what it's gonna look like on your creator panel. You can see all your information, details, um, eventually when this does sell, you can go ahead and see the activity. Right now it doesn't have any because it's brand new. Um, and finally, the price is going to be right under this image or video. And then your fans are going to see 
just this buy now with the price. And that's it. Um, super easy. There are a few things that I glossed over, such as drafts, um, which we'll cover in other videos. But this is a pretty straightforward, pretty easy way to create collections and NFTs. Thank you.